Hello there everyone. Every now and then I get suggested games from uh, developers who send me a bunch of keys and stuff and this is one of them. Looks kind of interesting. I'm, I'm definitely interested in something a little bit more management heavy, so to say. So must grow says plant crops, combine them into recipes and distribute them for sale in this incremental factory game. Optimize your layouts and reinvest your infrastructure. Minimize your output, gain experience, to unlock new technologies, and expand your ever-growing farm. So that's what we're going to do today. This is a demo. It will come out on Steam, I think, on the 20th of November. So if you're interested, there will be a link in the description as well. If you're interested, you can take a look at that and uh, play it yourself. It should be free. Hopefully we will see a release as well. It's always a question mark when it comes to these kind of games. They are still under development. So uh, let's just kick it off. We're first greeted with a little bit of a tutorial. So hello to Musgrove Farm. We just brought this. Uh, you've just bought this small farmland with the hopes of turning it into a farming business of your dreams. This guide will walk you through a few tasks to begin your journey and set you on your way towards a thriving farm. You can always reread the instructions for your current task by clicking on it in the right, uh, top right, which is, I'm guessing, here. The farmer's guide in the bottom right will allow you to reread any previous tasks. It also contains other advanced tips and controls. So that's down here, farmer's guide. Very handy. Well developed already for a game that is just entering into demo. I think they were talking about the release date sometime during 2025, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so that is that is interesting, actually. Seems to be well along already. In the center of your farmland is your farm center. You have it right here. Our little farm center. Looks good. Uh, in the center of the farm mound is your farm center. This building will collect things you produce and then ship them off for sale. So that's how we make money. I understand there's going to be some sort of logistics in this as well. And a little bit of almost uh, ideal game to it. Seems like it. But we'll see as we continue here. To get started, try moving the camera around. You can use VASD to move the camera. You can use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Can we go very, very close? Sort of. Close enough to take really good screenshots. I hope there will be a non-UI functionality to this game. Just because I like to take th thumbnails. Okay, I, okay. Can, can we can we have that? I like to take thumbnails. <laughs> uh, if we don't already have it, we might actually have it. Can't find any button that actually does it. I did manage to click the screenshot button, so that's good. <laughs> Uh, hold right mouse button and drag to rotate the camera. Really cool. Good stuff. And we'll click finish. So let's start by growing some lettuce. Click the fields button in the bottom left corner and select lettuce. So we have roads, we have fields, and we have delete tool. So if we go to fields, we can select lettuce. This reminds me very much of, uh, what's it called? called? Il Acres, actually. Seems very familiar to this. Shift to keep the building. I'm guessing you can build multiples of them then. And then you can rotate it with... With uh, R. Seems pretty neat. If I'm gonna be like at least a little bit smart here, you don't want to build directly off the main route, right? So uh, let's, let's do this across the street here to us. Place it somewhere on your farm. We just did that. Now what? We need to make sure that its entrance is connected to a road back to your farm center. If needed, you can build more roads for free by clicking the roads button in the bottom left hand corner. All right, you can also click one for that. So you have one and two and then you have X to delete stuff. Very nice. So far, seems pretty good. Seems pretty good. And as we did that, we see trucks coming here and picking up items and then bringing them back. That seems to be automatic. The lettuce field you placed will now keep harvesting on its own. Each harvest cycle will generate experience and lettuce to be sold. The farm sample will use its collections truck to collect any produce 
that you produce or products that you produce. It will then ship them off for a sale using its sale truck, which is a green one, I'm guessing. So the blue one is for produce, green one is for sales. That way you can identify, I guess, if you have traffic issues. I don't know if traffic is a thing in this. It might not be. You can click on a field to see its stats to, and to purchase upgrades. You can increase the level of the fields for a small price. This will increase the field's harvesting speed and storage capacity. Upgrade your lettuce fields to level 5. So we are now on level 1. So level 2. 11.5 seconds, 150 experience, 13 per second. And then it actually tells you exactly what it does when you do that as well. Okay. Kinda like that. Seems like a, they have a really good good foundation to stand on here, to be honest. I'm impressed. For being one of those kinda... Uh, where you just get a, a random message in the inbox, this seems like it's fairly well put together. Sometimes it actually pays off to, to read your mails, people. <laughs> Uh, so what does farmers do? Or like workers? Same stuff, huh? Yeah, so that's just another way to level up, I guess. So we got to level 5. Now let's plant some Argula. It's a bit more expensive, but as such it will also gain us more experience and income. Makes sense, so there's some sort of progression to this. Very interesting. And there seems to be some some stuff that's locked behind some stuff as well. One cups, vegetable grow from stock. Hold on, this one says requirement call corn fields. Requires corn fields. But that is the corn. How can the corn require corn fields? I'm sure we'll figure it out. So, Argola. We want to have Argola on maybe the opposite side. I don't know at all what we want to do. You can, by the way, rotate these by pushing the R button. If you haven't noticed. Now let's plant some Agora. It's more expensive. Plant Argora field and upgrade it to level 5 as well. Very good. Not sure the value of this leveling up, to be honest. It seems like it's just a standard thing to do. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not super fond of games that kind of just makes you do busy work. If the idea is that you should always be on level 5, then it doesn't matter that you level up. It's just something that you might forget to do every now and then. And I'm not super fond of that. Not gonna lie. But uh, who knows, maybe that's something that they will fine tune. Have a ladders field with two workers and have an Argola field with two workers. So it seems like we have detailed explanation here of what we need to do and then we have this guy that also tells us what we need to do you can also upgrade fields by hiring extra workers additional workers will drastically improve the rate at which fields are harvested but each field only have a few workers okay workers multiply the production rate of a field for example a field with two workers will run at twice the speed of a field with one worker so the first worker is really important the next few workers are going to have diminishing effects. Compared to the total output, at least. Since workers and levels scale multiplicatively, it's important to invest in both upgrades. Check the farmer's guide for more info. Buy a second worker on both of your fields, double their production. Okay. We can do that. So uh, we get a second worker on both of these. Very good. It looks like now we are actually at a point where we have used up all of our money at least. So maybe upgrades from here on will be more, more stingy. You can also upgrade fields by hiring extra... Okay, I think we read this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all good. You form us multiple categories of experience and corresponding levels. Currently you have a general level and a fields level. Okay. So that's what we have up here, I'm guessing. Yes, the so general experience, 18,000 out of 40,000. Time to level about five minutes. Seems a bit uneven though. I'm guessing that is just because we're not actually producing very much. 
And then we have a fields level as well, which goes up more or less with the same speed, it seems. Okay. Cool. So fields experience is generated each time a field is harvested. More experience. More expensive crops will generally yield more experience to sell for more money, okay? Keep going until you reach fields level 2. To speed this process up, you may want to plant and upgrade more fields. Since you've reached fields 2, you now have a point you can spend in the fields tech tree. So there's even more to this. I like it. I like it. Let's unlock beans and peas. Click this fields XP bar to open its tech tree. All right. Remove this. Yes. Let's unlock beans and peas. So that is max field levels. Can I see what our max level right now is? No. I do not know what our max level is. So I guess I don't want to do anything with that. We want to have beans and peas. Unlocks planting of beans and peas. Ah, that's probably what we're missing. This is the upgrade we needed for corn that I mentioned before. It seems like we are also going to have... I was actually aware of this. There's going to be some some producing of other wares as well, which seems kind of cool. It seems like a management simulator of FarmSim, to be honest. That's kind of my understanding of how this game works. Which is definitely more up my alley than FarmSim 2025, 20, I'm not gonna lie. But uh, yeah, seems seems really cool. Very, very cool. So, that's general. No, we were in fields now, okay. And then we have general as well, where we can get more... Kind of basic meta progression, it seems like. More trucks. Just more out of everything. Yeah. Nice. Since you have reached field... Okay, we did that one. From here, you can see all of the fields technologies. Most of the technologies in this... Tree unlocks new crops. Click the plus button next to the beans and peas. We did that. All right. Plant a pea pods field. Do we want to go with a new field then, maybe? Okay. Okay, I see what you're doing, game. Uh, this is just a beta, of course. Like a demo. But this seems very, very scalable, to be honest. This should not be very hard for a developer to, like, continue building on. I don't see why this couldn't be an endlessly expanding map at the end of the day. That should be perfectly fine. So, we want to have pea pods. Probably not the ones you pee in, though. But, uh... Left mastering, drag a road to place, okay? No anchor system, as far as I understand. And now we have a general level up. Next, we're going to want to up unlock the buildings technology out of general tech tree. Building process crops in order to get more money and experience from them. So this is the logistics part of it then, I guess. In order to unlock buildings, you need to reach, reach general level 2. Every time you gain experience in other categories, you will also receive a bonus percentage of that experience as general experience, okay? This means that any time you harvest crops, you'll generate field experience and a little bit of general as well. Very nice. Keep harvesting crops until you reach level 2. I think we already did that, or we're really close, like 40 seconds away. Then unlock buildings. We're going to need some green beans, and those will get us more experience to plant some of those too, okay? So uh, let's get some, some green beans in here. That'll be good. Get a little bit of that on there. I think we're gonna need some, some new trucks here. This guy is not keeping up. How is this looking? Yeah, we don't have a point there just yet. Unlock buildings in the general tech tree. So we're just kind of waiting for that now. What about you? What do you do? So collection trucks, we can only have one at the moment. There's nothing that we can really do there. And he can haul the 150 items, it seems like. Okay. We just leveled up. There was a little small ding as well, I heard. There was some really good music in the game when you started it. Seems like that disappeared when I actually started the game. Love there to be some little 
little moody music in the background here. Yeah, that would be super nice. Let's unlock some buildings. This should allow us to do cutlery, chop green beans and shred lettuce. Unlock buildings allows you to build one building to start the cutlery to start this building. Uh, to start this building can chop green beans or shred red lettuce. Okay. Chopping and shredding crops results in fewer products and increased total value. It also generates building experience, which in turn grants some general experience. So everything kind of ties together here, it seems like. It's really interesting. Buildings can obtain resources to process in two different ways. In the buildings out input trucks tab, you can purchase if a truck... Wow. Reading is hard. <laughs> in the buildings input trucks tab, you can purchase it Purchase it a truck. This is not English. You can purchase it a truck to use to retrieve resources from other fields or buildings. Jesus. Okay, yes. So you can actually go into here. That's what I saw before. You can actually buy new trucks here. But it doesn't look like it's actually an option that we can do right now. We probably need some upgrades. Uh, buildings can also directly pull resources they need from any neighboring buildings or fields. When placing a building, yellow arrows will indicate which neighbors it will connect to. These connections do not work diagonally. Check the farmer's guide for more info on these connections. Okay. Let's chop some green beans. Start by adding a cutlery from the new buildings menu in the bottom left. Select the cutlery. Uh, once it has been built, and click the change recipe button and select to chop green beans. Then place it uh, directly next to a green beans field. Make sure you uh, buy the truck from the truck tab so it can pick them up. Okay, so you actually need to buy a truck if you do that. Uh, we can we can go buy a cutlery. That's fine. And probably the best thing to do is to put it right next to this, so you can actually get the. Uh, the stuff directly from this field but uh, i'm gonna put it here i want to see what it said we needed to buy a a truck so i want to see how that works takes a few seconds for it to build here i'm guessing that is something that's gonna be extended over and over again as well so uh, we need to change the recipe we want to have the chopped green beans right Yes. And then we want to buy a vehicle, which is a thousand bucks. Not not stupid. That kind of works. And we can see that truck going here now. So the actual logistics trucks then are yellow. Is the blue guy clever enough to not pick up green beans? Or will he, will he go and empty the green beans for no reason? That's the question. Do I need to specify that somehow? I guess we can upgrade these as well. Let's get them get them working. Yeah, I'm not sure I understand the purpose of these upgrades. I do understand the purpose of them. I'm not saying that. But it seems very easy to actually just spam out a lot of them. It'll be interesting to see how the later game actually goes with that. So, might as well just upgrade you as well, right? It's fairly cheap to do anything, it seems like, which is neat. Other than the fact that upgrades seems a little bit redundant. That's 15 produced. Seems like he is kind of keeping up here, actually. Yeah. Look at us go. We're officially farmers. So yeah, Farm Sim 2025 20, released not too long ago. And uh, for me, this is a competitor and a damn good one so far. Truck upgrades. Trucks are a backbone of your farm's logistics. If your truck can keep up with your can't keep up with your uh, farm's production, buildings and fields will fill up and stop running. You can view the state of the truck 
from the trucks tab in the building that owns them or click on the truck itself. Makes sense. So you can actually click on this one. Yeah. You can see the farmer, where he's going. The speed. I'm guessing we're going to be able to level up the trucks eventually as well. Interesting. Uh, if your trucks are falling behind, you can always pause or sell less valuable fields or buildings. Selling un upgraded plots will give our full refund. Okay, so you can kind of place stuff down and, and build around like that. And until you start upgrading, that's when you actually start losing, losing stuff. That makes sense. That makes sense. I actually kind of like that. See the farmer's guide for more info on preventing... Okay, so they really are pushing this farmer's guide. Not gonna lie. So if we go to advanced tips, for example, and neighboring connections. Connection with neighbors plots in an important role in the efficiency of your farm. This is actually really impress impressive to have all of this written up. I imagine the developer is maybe not the biggest biggest developer in the world, right? Not like a just AAA game or anything like that. So having all of this documented it's just really cool. Yeah, I actually really, really like that. It shows our dedication to making sure that players know actually what they're doing and making sure that they actually have a decently good time. Unlock the truck, truck, <laughs> unlock the truck leveling technology will allow you to increase the level of your trucks. Doing so will increase their movement speed and their storage capacity. Unlock traveling leveling in general tech tree. That is the right here. Can I see when I have a point? Is that what this little yellow dot means, maybe? We get to track leveling. No, it doesn't go away. Is it because it's blinking? Yeah, it's because it's blinking. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. That makes perfect sense. So if it's blinking, it means that we have have some upgrades and then we need to upgrade our this guy to level three and that makes him go 20 go 24 miles per hour and bring a hundred and no he was at 150 before now he is at 300 i think he might even have been at 50 to be honest okay uh did i see him drop off here might have. Final core concept of farming is the rank up technology in general tree. The challenges it provides will have a substantial impact on the way you plan your farm, but only for, but allow for infinite increase in your productivity. Okay. The final concept of farming is the rank up technology in the general tree. Challenges it provides will have a substantial impact on the way you plan up your farm. That you may want to grab it sooner rather than later, but the choice is yours. The second goal of this demo is to produce simple vegetable soup. The recipe is unlocked far into the building's tech tree. It requires a chain of a few recipes and some other tech ingredients you'll need to unlock. There are multiple other optional technologies and recipes you can explore along the way as well. You now understand the basics, so take whatever path you choose. Some tips will still show up to guide you when you reach new important technologies along the way. If you want more info about crop or recipe, you can always alt plus click on it to open the respective page. No way. The, the way that they're doing documentation in this is actually insane. So you can just alt click on this. This was available in another game as well. I don't remember what that was. Uh, yeah, I think it was uh, was uh, Frostpunk who did this. Frostpunk 2. You could alt click on whatever you wanted and it showed you the guide for that specific thing. That is such a brilliant way of doing it. You can also find some more uh, advanced tips and controls in the farmer's guide in the bottom right hand corner. Very good. Thank you. Produce some, uh, produce some vegetable soup. Okay, upgrade your farm, unlock rank up in the general tech tree. That is right here. So rank up allows 
Rank up some fields and building. Ranking up field or building reset its level, but significantly improved to base stats. Okay. Making future levels have a larger impact, but also cost more money. Fields will also need to be replanted, allowing you to choose a different crop. Choosing a crop that has been planted on that field recently will result in a harvesting speed penalty. So this is like a crop rotation thing as well, then. And it also sort of the, the uh, what's it called? Ascension system of the game. Very cool. I actually really like that. I can see myself playing something like this just like mindlessly in the background when do it, while doing something else. I think this could be a lot of fun. Um, let's see if we can get some more some more stuff done then. Max fields levels. Uh, no, let's wait with that. Why am I unable to go to like here, for example? Unlocks three in field three. Okay, so we have to get this one. And then we get these. Harvesting speed, and then we can have our carrots. Okay. Gotcha. So these are... Okay, that's not actually super clear. It doesn't really tell you that... I wonder if these should be color-coded as separate items. They're clearly tiers. So you have like tier, tier 0 and then tier 1, tier 2, tier 3, tier 4 and so on. It doesn't really... It doesn't tell you that other than this little tool tooltips when you are are hovering over it. That could be could be a little bit more more clear, or maybe even a line just to like indicate that hey, these are actually separated. Could be a cool way of of displaying that. But uh, again, game is in development, so I shouldn't be too critical. <laughs> we shouldn't be too critical. Let's see if we can get some more built here. Uh, we have the green beans. Uh, we could actually build another factory, right? Let's see how this works. If I build you here, I think they will still be able to deliver the lettuce from here into this guy and then deliver that to our output. So if we go less recipe shredded lettuce, that should be pretty good. Uh, and is it worth it? Will you actually go and pick up stuff from here? Let's see if he will do that. Because you might not actually need need trucks on every single place then. This is just input, so yeah, he will not he will not need it. Uh, we also have what is this? Aragula? What other recipes? If I click this, do you reset? No. Cabbage and red cabbage. Let's go with that then. Let's go with some cabbage. And let's go with some red cabbage. Wonder if everything is going to have production. Or if it's just select stuff. Uh, I'm sure there is a way to copy one of these as well. Copied plot. I don't know how to paste it though. Almanac. There isn't really any controls. I'm sure that's something that will be will be added at a later date. So yeah, I can see that when I right click on this with shift selected, it says copied plot. But I don't know how to paste it. Maybe I can only paste the actual recipe itself. So if I place another one like this, uh, I can copy you and paste. Copy plot. Ah yeah, I can do it that way. Okay. Uh, but we wanted to go with shredded cabbage here. And we would like to have one more. That's gonna go with red shredded cabbage. Can't select the recipe before it's built. With 15 seconds left to build, I don't think that's an issue. 
If the timers go much further, I would almost argue that it would make sense to allow you to select a recipe beforehand, because otherwise you're just sitting there waiting for timers. So, what are we doing now then? Need some rank ups. I don't have any, any level ups at all at the moment. And if I want to make... I wonder what's the controlling factor here. What would make me not make more money than what I am currently doing? I don't see any up time. There's only a field price and a sale price. So as long as you can bear the cost of the field initially, everything is profits. Which means that there isn't really any any loss anywhere, right? Like, there isn't a, a running cost for anything in the game, as far as I can tell. Let's have a look at some more cutlery. I might be a little bit, like, uh, not negative towards this. I don't want to say I'm negative, I don't think I am. Uh, I'm always critical to anything that's in a demo or in uh, in development because I think it's really important that these gamers provide some feedback when we find stuff. And uh, I do realize that even as a small YouTuber, you actually do have a little bit of impact when it comes to that. So it's actually good good for us to to share our ideas as well. Can we do anything with peace here? No. No, we can't do anything with peace there. All right. Did upgrade our Buildings tech tree though, so that's good. We have a packager and storage. Okay. Storage building. So if I hold Alt and click on this, I get information of the actual building. Holy shit, that is crazy good. That is nuts. Okay, let's get a packager. Curious what that is. Also upgraded general again. So I guess we're gonna have to continue pushing up our experience gain now then, so we can get into here. We also have basic logistics. Unlocks basic logistic options in fields and buildings, allowing control over the collection and distribution of products. Okay, this is getting way more complicated than I expected, not gonna lie. I didn't have these these before. <laughs> That's new. Holding shift when buying... Okay, I was just about to say that. I wish there was a way to do this quicker. <laughs> uh, I, I gotta say it. Developers for this, they seem to fucking know what they're doing. <laughs> I wonder how the, how how long-lasting this, this demo is. I kind of don't want to play it too much as well. Because it's really easy to kind of burn yourself out on a demo, and then when the game releases, you kind of don't want to see it anymore. <laughs> Uh, you can also hold control to do five upgrades. Both will stop if no more upgrades are available or if you run out of... Okay. You can also select multiple plots by holding control while clicking on them or by holding shift and dragging left mouse buttons to select plots in an area. Doing this, you can upgrade for a whole group of plots at once. No way. I can just upgrade everything to max. <laughs> that is so neat. What a great system. Yeah, it's hard to complain about that, right? Oh, I realize now what I did. It's when you push Alt, you can see different, different things. Okay, this is good. Why can't I combine them? This one is nice. Why can I not have these icons together with the bar underneath it? Just some thoughts. There is a way to get rid of part of the UI at least. So that's good. All right. Let's have a look. We have some new planting stuff we can do. Get carrots and we can get harvesting speed. I'm going to go for harvesting speed. That seems good enough. 
And I think we have some new buildings, actually. So we have a packager. Combines prepared items into sellable packages. Okay. We can, we can do that. Uh, that's a very small building. Let's put you here. Guessing we're gonna need two of you, right? Because you also need recipes. Let's see. Maybe there's some that will actually like if you can stuff stuff. It doesn't matter if it's coal, does coal or something else, right? Yeah, exactly. To look here, we have shredded cabbage, red cabbage, and carrots all going into a coal slow mix. And then here we have carrots, green beans, peas, and corn going directly into vegetable mix. So if I take the coleslaw mix, uh, we have those two inputs. I wonder if they need to be both provided, or if one of them is enough. I'm guessing both of them need to be need to be provided. Uh, I want to see if how does this work? Are you going to actually bring anything over to me? These are actually completely full. Okay, so they're not doing shit. <laughs> they ain't doing shit. Gotcha. I'll uh, upgrade these then, max level 5. This guy can be max level as well. 28 kilometers an hour, 450 bucks. Very good. Let's get road helps. And what was the other recipe? Needed carrots for that. So let's get some carrots. We don't have any carrots. Never mind. That's not gonna be a thing. Okay. Somehow you, even though you are full. Uh, oh, it's the input storage that's full. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, let's level it up you. Did I do letters here? No, you're supposed to be... I don't know what you're supposed to be. I think the idea was to make carrots there, probably. That'll be the... That'll be the plan. Uh, unlock rank up in the general tech tree. Yeah, we can do that once we have unlocked all the way over here. Okay, let's see if we can get to basic logistics. That seems pretty good. Uh, if we wanted to sell more, what would we actually do? Like, is there a way for me to see... Everyone is marked as A, right? So I guess what we need is just for them to produce way faster. If I go boom. Yeah, we don't have enough money to upgrade the rest with more workers, but that's fine. That's fine. Uh, everything is still on A. And we just got some more upgrades again. You can do storage or building levels. So I'm gonna go for storage. Don't really know what the purpose is of that. Allows you to build storage buildings which act as resource hubs. Storage buildings will collect products directly from neighboring buildings and fields, housing them in one place. Neighboring buildings can pull any resources they need from the storage as well. Other non-adjacent buildings can send trucks to pick up the resources they need from storage buildings. Entrance, your farm center will send this truck to pick up unclaimed goods from the storage buildings in order to sell them. Okay. For example, a green beans field will output the green beans into... It grows into neighboring storage buildings and neighboring Hatteries set to chop green beans can take those green beans out of the storage building, chopping them, and then put chopped green beans back into the storage building and farm centers. Okay. You can drive to the storage bin to pick up the chopped green beans. Makes sense. 
even though you can move crops in and out of fields and buildings using storage, you still want to make sure they each have road access for the future. All right. Understandable. So we just unlocked this. Let's have a look at this basic logistics. I think this is where the game is going to become a lot more complicated. Basic logistics allows you to set up pickup and collection rules on specific plots. The allowed pickup vehicles section specifies which trucks can pick up from the selected plot. The collection rules specify what the plots trucks can pick up. Hold on, go back. If I look at this one, for example, we can see that we can allow the collection truck or the input truck to pick that up. Yeah. And I'm guessing this applies to any truck. Not sure. Basic logistics allows you to set up and collect. Uh, set up pickup and collection rules on specific plots. The allowed pickup vehicles section specifies which trucks can pick up from the select plot. Cool. There's also now a prevent sale button in the top left of the plot window to quickly toggle the ability for a collection truck from the pickup. Ability for a collection truck from picking up from the plot. Okay. So that's this button. Just tell them, hey, don't sell my peas. I want them. Very good. All right. That some seems fairly straightforward, to be honest. That doesn't look too bad at all. Uh, let's get some carrots on here now, then. We can start making that last little bit. Shredded carrots right there. Uh, are you full or empty? You're, you're kind of empty. Let's get some carrots. Uh, so far, no issues with like truck traffic. It seems like they might actually pass through each other. I think they most definitely pass through each other. Maybe. Not sure. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure if they are going through each other or not. So we should now be able to place down one more of these guys, right? So if we go building, we could go with like a small storage. Or a medium storage. Just kind of slightly bigger storage. And then we'll place you right here. We'll go... Packager. Just stupid. Yeah, that's probably stupid. Let's not do stupid. Then we'll do that. Packager will then do the carrot recipe that we needed. Some mixed vegetables. And we need peas. Ah, we need corn for that as well. Do we have corn? No. Can we get corn? That's way out of there. Okay, it's gonna take a little while until we get the corn done, I guess. Basic root vegetables. Onions and garlic. No potatoes. I guess they are not basic enough. <laughs> potatoes are, are not basic enough for, for this game, I guess. Alright, can we get some upgrades? We can get some levels. And some workers. Very nice. Yeah, what a cute game. I'm I'm thoroughly enjoying this, actually. Uh, let me know what you think. Is this something you're interested in? I will definitely continue playing this for a little while, I think. This has been this has been a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to see what what actually comes after this. So this should be available on the twenty second. And no, the 20th of November. So uh, keep an eye on the Steam page down in the description down below. And uh, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed. If you want to see more of this kind of stuff, hit the like button. 
make sure that you are subscribed and of course any comments down below is very helpful as well so i appreciate that hope i'll see you in the next one can confirm they can actually drive through each other so uh, yeah have a good day take care bye bye everyone